Moi Finland and hello Eurovision fans, it is William calling from Movie Blogs and this is such a huge night because Finnish pop star Robin Paklin has just released his song Girls Like You. There has been so much hype about him for so many years and he is finally here. Devon! Uda music in Kipalu! The steam train keeps rolling in. Hey, William! Should we listen and react? Let's, <laughs> Let's do, do this! this. Robin Pakalan. <laughs> you know what? I gotta plug these in. You guys, Robin has said that he thinks this is a song that best captures him. He said the song is so good that the whole world should hear it. And the UMK jury said that Girls Like You is like a sunny day squeezed into a three minute audio file. Well, bam, pss, hot. Let's hit play. Oh, wow. Nice colors. Okay, he's got his ladies. He looks good. Oh, yes, yes. We can talk body. I bet he's fluent in that. I like how he moves from stationary to movement. It's good movement. You know? Sitting, standing, Keeping playing. a visually guessing. This is smooth. I like that. Uh, woo he looks like Benjamin and Grosso. I like his voice. But of course, he's had years of practice. He's great. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. I'm hearing BTS Dynamite, but slowed down. This has also got an 80s feel Vintage, to it. retro? In a good way. This sofa is seeing a lot of action. This is pure pop. Love it. <laughs> we can talk body. It's pleasant. It's not making me do all this, but it's doing this. UMK. Um, I, I, leave me out of the favorite video. You know, which one I want. Because so far, I've heard three. And this I is love a tough three. competition. He's so comfortable. Such a seasoned performer. I really like this. I... All right, oh, choreography. Yeah, Give us that no. dance break. Give us those angles. Oh, and the mood lighting of this music video. It's what I needed. Love the color scheme. The purple, the blue. Something, this reminds me of Benjamin and Grosso, Justin Bieber? You know? Benjamin and Grosso? Smooth melodies. I mean, it's just... And his vocals are not... There's just, there's just an ease ah. about his vocals. Oh, yeah! Listen! Okay! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, serving face right till the end. Hello. Now listen, Robin Paklin is a massive star, a big deal. He doesn't need this competition by any means. And I think the fact that he's decided to enter shows you the desire to share the UMK stage with other artists, to be a part of something really incredible. This show's incredible. <laughs> this is the third song, and every single one of them has merits, has something to like. And the fact that Robin Paklin, huge star, wants to be part of it is like, chef's kiss, amazing. I've gotta say, of the three studio cuts, this is my least favorite. Keeping it real. 
my least favorite so far because they are studio cuts. We know that Robin Packlin can perform live. He has toured all over Finland and elsewhere. He knows how to work an audience. So I imagine his stage show is gonna be incredible. He has his ease to him. You feel that fluidity in this performance. So the other artists so far, yes, those are oomphs, 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 banger, make me move. This is a different vibe, okay? And many people will respond to this piña colada vibe. And I don't know how they perform live. I've not seen um, Kira or our boy Benjamin. I don't know how they perform live, so I cannot assess. Um, so this could go many different directions. Back in 2012, when London was staging its Olympics and Paralympics, Robin Pakalin was dropping a summer hit in Finland, which became a really big hit. And since then, he has sustained the momentum, right? This is his first UMK debut, but long awaited, but not disappointing. I like how he's kind of come with pop, right? This is slick, well-produced pop. It's not a new genre of music, but it doesn't need to be. This is a really good slice of pop i really like it it's pleasant it's well produced it's it's just an easy bop girls like you da, 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 and that's what i love i love it it's got a very scandy pop 80s sort of reference point and that is amazing I like it. The music video is simple. It's good. He's on a sofa, hanging out with his friends. One minute, they're all standing and posing. The next minute, they're all dancing. Then there's like a proper group choreo. I like it. Some people may call it generic, but I think this goes beyond that. I think that it is familiar, but it's not generic. You know, it, it, it's not generic because it does borrow elements from different types of Listen, this is sunshine squeezed into a three-minute audio file. I, you know, I like it. I like it. Yes, it sounds familiar, but it's not boring. I think the familiarity of this song could actually help it. Like I said, it sounds like, you know, Benjamin Ingrosso or Justin Bieber or BTS Dynamite. But the fact is, music that's familiar can often be very warming and appealing to people. It's not that it's in any way plagiarism. It's just playing on similar vibes. And I think that could go down well with people who like that type of music. I am not one of them personally. However, again, Robin's gonna slay this live because he's got the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, talent, and voice. It's not boring. Like, Robin Pakenham comes with a lot of high expectations. And for me, these expectations are met. This is a great track. UMK is really gonna find it tough actually pulling out who's gonna represent. Because so far they've, they've showcased three tracks and three tracks are, those three tracks are all Eurovision worthy. I'm excited to see what's next. This is really good. I think the strength of this will be in its live delivery. I think that if you can pull out really good visuals and rock this and give it that altogether feel like, girls like you, da da. I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. And you know, the, the trouble is when I, I'm not particularly in favor of gender based songs because, you know, Girls Like You leaves the boys out. But this is not sung or delivered in a way that alienates. This actually makes girl. Girl. <laughs> Because the people that I call girl, they're not biological females. And I'm getting that from this. You know, it's like, girl, like, you know, like, girl, 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 girl. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is terrible. I'm laughing at my own jokes. But do you get my humor? The, the, you know, Robin's song here does not tell me, hey, Deb and Adoramy, you can't listen to this. No, it's saying... Girl, press play. I'm pressing play. I will be doing. Right up until the UMK finals. I'm in love with this. I really like this. And at the moment, it's kind of inching into my first position. It's definitely not my least favorite. Um, this is good. I, I wouldn't mind seeing this, this advance. Yeah. I want to read some comments from the WeWe Blogs website. 
Sabrina says, UMK 2023 will be a paradise for well-produced mainstream pop lovers, am I right? I'm still waiting for something different on the menu though. In any case, from the initial three, my favorite is Benjamin's entry. Girls Like You doesn't sound original to my ears, and if the intention is to have a fun song about wanting to go wild with someone, Hoida Mood is one going unapologetically for it. Oh, that's interesting. I think that in this instance, Robin is a bit more subtle with the seduction. He talks about speaking the language of body. He wants to talk body with you all night. Um, he talks about his wild side, but it's delivered in a sweeter kind of Lothario way. Whereas Benjamin, Benjamin's just horny. He's just letting all of that hang, that sexuality, that libido, it's hanging out. It's hanging out so much a truck runs over and splat. You know what I'm saying? Is everywhere. Jesse says, Ro Robin said that this was his best song yet. Not in the slightest bit. I'm sorry. Why take part when you got literal bangers but chose to take this generic dance you off to UMK? Well, hope Finland will be wise this year and don't vote based on names because probably every other option is the better option. Well, damn. Now, a lot of people say it doesn't matter what Robin sings. He's so popular, he will win. But our commenters disagree. Benito Camelo says, For the ones that are taking Robin's win for granted, I gotta tell you that Benjamin is as popular in Finland and that Finns aren't liking Robin's entry that much. This year isn't as one horse raced as some of you fear. Also, I'm expecting at least a couple of the remaining acts to deliver something slick. But Bad Wolf Girl is here to defend Robin. She says, I'm actually surprised that this song is not being well received. I actually really like it. Although I'm not familiar with the artist, so I didn't have a bias or high expectations for it. I've never listened to his back catalog to compare the song to. So I judged this with an open mind. I might be stirring controversy, but I placed Girls Like You as top of my ranking list for the UMK, but that might be recency bias. Maybe I should just wait until all seven songs are out so I can make a proper ranking all at once. Has Robin Packelin got a mood board on Pinterest? <sighs> Whilst you try to figure out the answer to that question, follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you like girls like you? And do you like performers like Robin? <laughs> Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. And we'll see you later. Bye. And we will see you later.